Good morning, students. This is lesson number six of chapter Nutrition in Animals. Today we are going to learn about the digestive system of ruminants. So let us start by understanding what are ruminants first. Ruminants include cows, sheep, goats, buffaloes, deer, giraffes, and camels. These animals have a digestive system that is uniquely different from our own digestive system. They are plant eating animals, means herbivores. They are not able to digest the parts of plants completely in one go, and a part of their stomach stores their half chewed food. This part is called rumen. That is why it is very common to observe animals like buffaloes and cows. They keep on running their mouth for the whole day and they keep on chewing. Why do they do so? It is because of the special digestion present in them. So let us try to understand. Digestive system of a ruminant. Ruminants have four compartments in their stomach namely rumen, reticulum, omasum and abomasum. Right. Out of these, the rumen is the large section and the main digestive center. You can see here in the diagram, this area belongs to rumen. Now the digestion process in ruminants takes place in two steps. So what happens in the first step? Let us study that first. First food is eaten. This food is half chewed and partially digested and swallowed. This partially digested food is called cut. The cut is stored in rumen. The largest section in the digestive system. In rumen, billions of microorganisms digest cellulose. Cellulose is a special kind of carbohydrate present in the grass which human beings cannot digest at all. Right? So, this cellulose present in grass and other vegetations are digested in the rumen by billions of microorganisms. From rumen, food goes to reticulum. Here. After some time, reticulum returns food to mouth for re-chewing and re-swallowing. This is called rumination. So the first food goes to the rumen. Then after digestion of cellulose and other vegetations, it comes to the reticulum. And from reticulum, the food bolus goes to the mouth of the ruminant. Second step, when food is completely digested, it goes to the third chamber, omasum. So, after the food is chewed again and swallowed again, now it goes to the third chamber, that is omasum. In omasum, water present in food is absorbed. Now from here, the food goes to the third chamber, sorry, the fourth chamber, abomasum. Abomasum is actually like the stomach, just like our stomach, right? And the digestion process here is same. Gastric juices present in abomasum digest the food. Then food goes to small intestine for absorption of new nutrients just like it takes place, the digestion takes place in us. Same way, the same procedure is taking place now in ruminants after the food reaches to the fourth chamber that is abomasum. And the undigested food is passed on to large intestine and ingested out of the body eventually. So this is the complete procedure of digestive system in ruminants.